Hi everyone, welcome back again to another installation. Uh, in today's video, I'm going to be showing you uh, the specifications of this solar panel. This is a 450 watt solar panel from Longi Solar, Longi Green Energy Technology Company Limited. We have five pieces of this panel on site, and we're going to install them, uh, connect them to a 3.5 kV hybrid inverter, solar hybrid inverter. It can take up to 3000 watts of energy and 500 volts PV voltage. Now, before we start, I'm going to show you, explain the specifications of these solar panels so that you understand what it entails in case you plan, you are planning on buying something like this. So, uh, if you check properly, first of all, the solar panel, they come. It don't come with cartons, it comes like this, just the way it is, with these terminals folded and with a green tie wrap, not tied with a green tie wrap, that's how it comes from the company directly. And if you check, come and show them, you see there's a model number, now this model number you can see L04, that's the longest series, then 60, 60 indicates the number of cells, 60 cells. But because this is half coat, yeah, this is a half coat solar panel, then the total number of cells is 2 times 60. It means it has 120 cells in total. So we have LR4 60 HPB. HPB means high performance bifacial. High performance bifacial. I really don't know whether this is bifacial panel though. This doesn't look like a bifacial panel, but I think that's what it means there. Then we have 450M. This 450 means. 450 watt solar panel. This panel can produce 450 watts of energy. Okay, come over to check the other specifications. Now, from the model number is L04 60HPB 450M Longi. The rated maximum power Pmax is 450 watts. That's the maximum power you can get from the solar panel. Then, the speed tolerance it's 5 watts plus 5 watts. So, it means you cannot get less than 450 watts from the solar panel under standard testing conditions now what are the standard test conditions if you check you see stc am equals to 1.5 that's the air mass then the we have e is equals to 1000 watt per meter square that's the irradiance the number of watts per meter square then the cell temperature 25 degrees celsius so these parameters are the standard test conditions of the solar panel so when you test the solar panel under these conditions you will not get less than 450 watts but if it's not at this standard test conditions you might get a bit lesser than that but all the same is still nice it's a positive tolerance there's no negative value here then voltage at p max so at the maximum power you get 41.8 volts when the solar panel has been connected to a load like a controller or an inverter then we have the current at p max 10.87 amps now this current helps you to determine the cable size because the more current, the more the cable size in order for the cable to be able to handle the current. So if you have, for instance, for this installation, I'm using a 6mm cable to take the output to the inverter because I'm connecting everything in series. When you connect in series, the current doesn't change. Let's say the current remains is 10 amps. If it remains 10 amps, when you connect it in series, everything. So if you are using a system that needs you to connect in parallel and you need to connect up to about four of these panels in parallel to get 40 amps then you should know that 6 mm will not uh, be able to handle that then you'll be able to size your wires and your cables uh, more efficiently then let's go to the open circuit voltage now open circuits these are open circuits this panel is not connected to any load it's an open circuit when you measure the voltage across this terminal, this is positive and negative, you get 49.4 volts. Then the short circuit current, ISC. Now, when you connect these terminals together, positive and negative, that's short circuit. You get this current, 11.26 amps. Now, this short circuit current helps to determine the fuse rating in case you want to use a fuse to protect the solar panel. Let's go over to the tolerance, VOC and IAC tolerance. It's plus or minus 3%. So you multiply 0.03 by either the VOC or the IAC 
then you subtract and add and you get the range of values or the range at which uh, the VOC on ISC can reduce or increase. So that's what that. Then the maximum system voltage is 1,500 volts. If you are connecting this panel in series, if you connect in series, the voltage increase. Assuming this panel gives you uh, 50 volts at VMP, you are connecting in series, you are supposed to connect just 30 panels. If you connect more than 30, it's no work. You damage the system. Because if you divide 1, 5 by 50, you have 30. 30 solar panels. That's for that. Then the maximum series fuse weighting is 20 amps. Operating temperature minus 40 degrees Celsius to plus 85 degrees Celsius. Minus 40, extremely cold conditions. 85, extremely high temperature. So it can work within this range of temperature. And the protection class is class 2. It means it has double insulation. Because it has double insulation, there is no need for grounding. Now, so this is standard test conditions. We've talked about it before. AM 1.5 E 1000 watts per meter square. Then temperature of the cell 25 degrees Celsius. Then come over. There are these symbols. What does these symbols mean? We have this one. This one means you should dispose properly or it can be recycled. Then this CE, I think it's a EU um, test conditions or something like that. This one. Double protection, double insula insulation. Then this one is uh, risk of fire hazard. Then you get the is the Longy Green Energy Technology dot co. Then this is the address: Middle Hectan Road, Shang District, Xi'an, Shanxi, seven one zero hundred PL China. In the website, we have the Longy Group dot com. You can log into the website to check out all the products. You can also verify if this panel is original. You can see a barcode and the serial number each panel has a specific serial number that's how you know when you get to the uh, website you can put this on the website to know if this panel is original and directly from the company then let's check the terminals one thing i like about this panel is that the terminals are quite long you see it's uh, more or less one yard very long when you're doing your connection it's very very easy for you to Put it inside the roof and do your connection from inside. Very long and we check uh, this is the MC4. There is a IP68 here written here. That IP68 is actually the dust tight and water protection. It has protection for dust and water. Understand? So when it's raining and or when it's dusty, the terminals are highly insulated and highly protected connections remain stable so that's what this ip68 means so there are different uh, ratings for waterproof and dust type protection uh, there's ip65 but this one is ip68 it's a bit uh, higher so that's for that so i think uh, we are done with this uh, we've explained practically everything on this solar panel so we we'll just go over to our installation now. If there's any question you have, you can put them in the comment section. I'll be there to I'll answer your questions. Thank you very much for watching this video this time. I want to appreciate you for giving me your time and just smash the like button and hit that subscribe button. You get more updates from me on reviews of more solar panels, more brands, and uh, installation videos, and tips on how to install solar panels, inverters from my wealth of experience. Thank you very much. I see you again. I would have done the open circuit voltage and the short circuit coin test for this, but you see the weather is not so friendly right now for these solar panels. It's even about to rain, so I will just skip it after now. In my next uh, round of videos, you see that. You see it. Thank you very much. See you again.